In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the bridge tool or otherwise known as a stencil maker on the selected objects within the designing area of the software. So, to begin with, let's type in some numbers that we wish to use as a stencil for a sign, which will be used to paint a car park's number. To do this, draw out a marquee over the objects to select them, and then go up to and click on the plugins drop-down box and select the bridge tool. Now, the selected objects will appear in the bridge tool, as we can see here. Next, we want to apply our bridge or stencil shape in the correct area. So when we cut these shapes out and weed out the excess material, we will have a stencil ready to use for our project. Next, we need to set the width which I will set to 1 inch in this edit box. Next. I need to position the mouse cursor where I wish to begin and draw out the shape like this. Since I have auto snap switched on, you can see the line is snapping perfectly. I can also position the whole line to where it needs to be. As you can see, I can set any angle I wish and move the end points to any position that suits the artwork. I can delete any line I wish using the delete button and draw a new line wherever I like. I can click preview to see what the end result will be before committing to the design I have created. I can use the zoom tools to zoom in and zoom out. And also zoom to all. When I am happy with the artwork I can click apply. And the artwork will be returned into the designing area of the software. To be able to use this as a stencil, first I will view the project in wireframe view by clicking here. Next. I simply draw out a shape over the artwork I have just created leaving enough room for spray painting this as a car park sign. Next, I select all the artwork together. Next, I go up to and click on the curve menu. Next, I click on combine. This creates a single shape that can be sent to my cutter to be cut out and then used as a stencil on my project. And that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching.